What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome. Today I'm doing a get ready with me for my first day of college classes. And it is my senior year y'all. If y'all watched my college vlog, I'll attach it up in the cards. It's the first day of my senior year. Well technically, yesterday was the first day, but I only had one class and that was on Zoom. So today is my first class that I have in person. So I'm going to be doing a little simple makeup look, actually very minimal makeup and I'm gonna be showing all my outfit. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get it, let's go. All right, so first y'all know, gotta prime my face. I'm sorry if I'm like squinting in the camera, y'all. I cannot see right now. So I'm just gonna prime my face. My face is already moisturized, y'all. I use the rose oil from E Glam Cosmetics. Next is brows. I am taking my e.l.f. Cosmetics instant lift brow pencil in the shade uh let's see in the shade neutral brown i used to use the darker brown shade but i figured that was too dark for me and you want your eyeshadow not eyeshadow wow i can't talk you want your eyebrows to be a shade lighter than your real hair color i think that's what i've heard correct me if i'm wrong but yeah the darker shade just felt too harsh so i'm just gonna go in with this um with this pencil. I don't want to fill my brows like too dramatically. So I just checked my brows off camera and I'm satisfied. I'm not going for like a super defined look because I just want some, what's it called? Some I just wanted the spaces filled in. I didn't want like a super harsh look so this is good enough for me. Next, I'm going to conceal. I'm trying out my brand new Fenty concealer, y'all. I'm excited to use this. Um, I hope it actually fits my skin. The employee said it would, so if it doesn't, me and him will have some problems. I'm gonna go back to Maine and fight his ass. <laughs> but anyways, this is a Fenty Beauty. What is it called? Is the name? Let me see. The Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 370. I'm just putting a little bit under my eye because Mind y'all the emphasis, oh this feels so smooth y'all. Mind y'all the emphasis when you're wearing makeup is, well because I'm wearing a mask, my emphasis is on the eyes. So I'm gonna spray my little brush right here. Wow, that actually matches my skin y'all. Actually kind of crazy. I'm just trying to kind of pat it in to get that like, cause I don't want to like drag under my eye. So I'm trying to pat more than just blend out the edges. I feel like this is a pretty good match. Like this matches my skin exactly. And my brush just literally broke in my lap. Love that for me. I don't know what it even broke to begin with, but anyways, it's fixed, period. Y'all, so I literally forgot to conceal like my face, so I'm gonna go in and do that. So once again, going in with this, and I'm just going to lightly, like like the tiniest little dabs on my, like on my acne spots, because nobody's gonna see this anyways, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to just lightly conceal these spots to see how it works on my acne spots and see how it blends with the rest of my skin. Now lucky for me, if it doesn't blend, um, the mask will cover it. I'm just kind of dabbing it on, on all my acne spots. Not all of them, but just a few, like the ones that are darkest. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more to add a, to get a more full coverage look. This concealer is bomb, y'all. This actually matches my skin tone, which isn't really a bad thing, but you know, for a concealer, you want some extra highlight. And this doesn't really give that extra um, extra highlight look, which is what the sales guy, um, oh shit, it broke again. Which is what the sales guy told me. I'm just gonna hold it on the edge. I think this is good enough. I hope that's blended well enough, but like I said, the mask will cover it anyways. Good enough. Onto the eyes. So I'm going in with this BH Cosmetics waterproof eye primer. Y'all, this primer is bomb. It's so good. I've used it before in my other Get Ready With Me 
which I'll attach in the cards as well. Literally, I've had this primer for probably at least a year, maybe even a year and a half, because it literally just lasts so long. I just use my finger to prime my lids. I don't know if that's bad or what, but my hands are clean, obviously. Can't do makeup with dirty hands. So I am matching my makeup to my outfit. I'm wearing a yellow top, and I'm going to go in with this kind of yellow orange shade in the top left, right here. And I'm just gonna take some of that on this blending brush. And I'm just going to just do, do that as a kind of transition shade. So let's hope that this comes out well, y'all. I'm actually really resting on eyeshadow. I have not done a full eyeshadow look in like weeks. And before that, I hadn't done one since March. So I'm rusty to say the least. But you know, I feel like makeup is like riding a bike. So I'm just blending this into my, what's it called, my brow bone going for a kind of sunset eye here, but I'll just be satisfied if it comes out looking decent, to be honest, I will i don't care. But I am trying to emphasize the eyes because of the fact that, again, I'm wearing a mask, so the eyes are really what anybody's going to see, like you're beyond your nose, you can't see anything. I feel like it's not even showing up because of my skin tone, like you know what I'm saying? Like if I had lighter skin, it would be showing up more, but because obviously I'm black, so <laughs> lighter colors aren't going to be that pigmented on me. So I have to like kind of go back in and repack the shade. All right, I think that's good enough for that shade. I'm taking my crease brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I'm going to go in with this upper shade in the upper right, this coral orangish shade. I don't know how to explain it, but going in with this shade, I'm just going to start in my crease right here and just work that around the crease. Hey y'all, I had to charge my camera, but basically I just finished my eyes. I took these two glitter shades right here and right here, and I just put these on my lid. So now I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying mascara. So I got my eyelash curler here. I usually hold it for like, I don't know, 10 seconds. Ooh, eyes are watering. <laughs> Dang. Oh my gosh, y'all, my eyes are so watery and I don't know why. Gosh, anyways, I'm going to apply my mascara. This is the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof Mascara. So this mascara is bomb, y'all. It gives a lot of volume. So I'm going to apply this on the eyes. And a little bit on the bottom lashes, just a tiny, teeny bit. Y'all, it feels so good to like do my makeup, like actually do my makeup for once. My mascara face is so funny, y'all. If you know, you know. Ladies, y'all have a face when you apply mascara. If you don't have a mascara face, you're lying. All right, good to go. Now, I don't have like any loose setting powder. I just have like a packed powder. So I'm gonna go ahead with this e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. Y'all can't really read it because it's a shiny package. Taking my e.l.f. powder brush, not e.l.f., BH Cosmetics powder brush. I'm just going to take a little bit catch any fallout. I'm just setting all this concealer that I just applied and just pretty much giving my face that, that matte finish. Okay, now for highlights. Okay, now I'm taking my highlighter brush and my Fenty Beauty highlighter in the shade Hustler Baby. So I'm just going to apply a few swipes, just to get a little glow, apply some under my eyebrow, down the nose, Cupid's bow. Ooh, it's a little too much. Ooh. Let's see, glow check. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so dumb. I didn't put in my contacts yet, which I should have done prior to putting on makeup, but oh well. All right, y'all, now I'm going to get dressed and I will show you the final look when I'm finished. This is the final look, y'all. Just for a full body image, this is the shirt. And this is the jeans I'm wearing and the shoes. Y'all can kind of see the shoes. But that is all for this Get Ready With Me and I will see you all again.
very soon. Bye.